Let's have a closer look at the new Ferrari Vision GT. This is a concept car that is especially designed for video games and not a real car. But anyway, there are some interesting aerodynamic features we want to have a closer look at. So let's start at the front. Ferrari is using a rather high and short nose that results in a massive air intake below. The upper part of this air will be channeled through the side pods to the top of the bodywork where it brings energy to the rear wing. The lower part of the massive front intake will exit behind the front wheels and we designed a huge fence to keep this air close to the car's body and guide it to the middle at the rear again. There it can exit the car on top of the diffuser. But there's more at the front. There's a huge intake box underneath that channels air underneath the car and Ferrari uses an S-duct like an F1 to bring weak flow to the top side of the car and make space for high energy flow underneath. The front wheels are covered by a disc to reduce outwash again and keep the drag low. The two NACA cockpit ducts remind us of the F40. The car is a single seater with a center seating position. For that it's surprising how wide the cockpit is. Ferrari says the car uses the same drivetrain like the 499P LMH car, but in a more extreme version. That means it has the 3 liter V6 engine and we can see a roof scoop on top. If we see the car from the side, we note how flat the windscreen is. It's hard to imagine how the driver should see through such an angle. Dashboard reflections and heating up under the sun will be disadvantages of this design. We also cannot see a windscreen wiper and mirrors or cameras. The fuel tank sits between driver and engine and we see a shark fin with a transparent element. In side view we can see that there is an aggressive curvature at the back of the front wheel arches which will make it hard for the flow to stay attached. The exhausts exit on the top surface and can accelerate the flow underneath the rear wing. The wing itself is pretty flat and has two elements without gurney. The huge blade underneath is supposed to work like a beam wing, but here it's more shielding the rear wing from the diffuser so they cannot work together. The rear wing end plates feature additional elements and end plates at the sides. These don't increase expansion and hence increase downforce, these do the opposite. They reduce expansion so they slow down the flow underneath the wing. We didn't talk about a cooling system for this more than 1300 horsepower car yet because we cannot see it. It would usually be in the side pods like we know it from the LMH car. So all in all the Ferrari Vision GT has some interesting features but is more a design exercise than a working car or an aerodynamic masterpiece. How do you like the new Ferrari Vision GT? Let me know in the comments below.